Yeah, I'm I mean, just uh, too it's insecure. A, it's a good, it's a, it's a good way to just like, kind of like take take your mind off things too. One okay. Of the heroes experience some technical I guess that's fair enough. Nothing wrong with being friendly. You think every Dota player is like super unfriendly? No, I just I don't know. I I I approach things like that differently. Maybe I'm very like. Oh uh, wait, hold I mean, on. I guess you think of it in a very professional sense. Yeah, that's a different. I guess maybe. Looks like they will spot out that there was the Ricky over there, and he should realize now a quick little easy D ward from the ancient apparition. And Roger, I, I don't. He's deciding. There's a gamble here. Oh yeah, look at it. He knows. They got it. Easy peasy. I don't think that we're gonna see Spartek get this D ward though. This is kind of in an awkward place. Wait, which one are you po poking or looking at? This one right here. Oh. Because mm. normally they would check to see if the camp is blocked, right? Yeah. You take you take your time to decide. Okay. The ward placement is somewhat like uh, standard, but it, you know you always have to guess. And since it was placed by a Ricky, it's not exactly like you're you're gonna know his path. So you definitely wait for the camp to spawn first. They're gonna see that neither of them are are blocked, then. Side was You'll on probably the figure it out once Radiant decide to make some kind of moves or react towards it. Mm -hmm. Also, Ricky going to place this ward over here just outside of the range of normal sentry placement. Um, Ricky checking to see if they are drawing aggro from the creeps and realizing that's not the case. Now he is within that sentry range and going to start to get punched a little bit. Needs to be careful. The fissure comes out and... He's on the wrong side of it, and oh, able to dodge away from the arrow. All right, Roger is going to be a liver. It's all right though. They they got the damage, and he pretty much spent like the his entire life pool just uh, trying to avoid the sentry ward. So not the yeah. worst for Spartac. For only unfortunate thing is that I think you normally want to use your first arrow to secure yourself the range creep, but that is already down. Oh. Another fissure comes in. Dendi is gonna man up here. He's well, actually he blocked off, careful. and he doesn't have blink. He he needs to run out of there. Is still going to get right clicked. No misses up hills, but he still is gonna live and get off that salve. That was close. Luckily for for Navi, there were quite a few creeps blocking the way. Otherwise, I think that arrow would have most definitely connected. Yeah, and now as well, we're gonna miss first blood up top. Easy peasy. That's uh, going to be able to be a kill with the Ancient Apparition and the Sven. It's just watching them see us in the mid lane here. And so far, uh, Quop having a really good time. Five denies versus that Marana. So, Old Dog still got some tricks. He is going to get denied every now and then by oh, BZZ. Again, again they're going in. And Ark making it happen. General has some good chat wheel usage. Oh, Seneko. He's going to be able to dodge away from the Fissure. That was well done. And he should be able to escape now. Still took a good bit of damage. Uh, this top lane is not really working out so far for Navi. Yeah, and the, the, the thing is, too, Ricky isn't really accomplishing much. He's... Well, I guess that's kind of unfair to say. Dendi is doing very well in this mid lane. He's 10 and 8 versus the 4 and 2 of the Marana, so... I think Ricky's presence kind of enabled him to do that. Really took the heat away from Dendi. So. That's the uh, a second time as well that we've seen players forget that uh, Leap doesn't disjoin anymore. And that's going to prove to be more and more of an issue for Marana if Dendi decides to keep skilling up Dagger. Definitely. It's all... It, it's like... I think as a, if you play long enough, it's just it's so hard to get rid of that that habit. Yeah. Because just... it's, yeah, you just you always think of it as like the same as a blink. Mm -hmm. When it's it's actually different now. It's one of yeah. those little things that people have to actually keep playing to remember and override your old habits. And I mean, thinking about that, if BZZ was expecting that type of a matchup going into this, does that change the way that? He has to play now because 
it does feel like he's kind of running into issues with Dendi just completely demolishing him in CS. He's got more denies than he has CS right now. I, I mean, I think he's... He's going to need help, I think. No. He's going to need oh. more help. Top lane, Misha going to end up going down. A nice kill as they brought Ricky in. Roger making it happen. Navi brute forcing their way top lane to finally get themselves a kill, but the miscommunication there. I think they would have actually gotten general there. Misha cold feeding and the chilling touch at the same time. It's been not. God happening. damn it. Well, Seneco ends up going down to BZZ. Uh, a nice kill. Again. Camera okay. work, just getting I, warmed up. We're getting ready. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> I, I, miss, I missed it, too. Great. <laughs> We're both garbage. <laughs> it's wonderful. I, I missed it, too, but the good thing for me is that I, I, I don't have to do the camera work, so no one actually knows. <laughs> oh, bottom lane crystallized. He's chasing Yoku. If he gets a couple more bashes, he's actually going to get it. One more? Very fire. Ooh. That was close. That was really close. That was scary. Uh, Yoku would uh, dive in over and he was um, cutting the creep wave wall that was happening. So maybe just getting a little bit down low, but he did the math and he ends up living through that. It looks like mid lane again. They want to try and set up with Roger. He's just outside of range and Dendi going to get level 6 in just a few here. I wonder if they can find this kill, or is Dendi going to push it too far to the limit? There's going to be the Fissure that comes out. Arrow to connect as well. They have the Starstorm oh. that comes out. He's going to be able to get away. Oh, Roger, did he tank that other Starstorm blast? He tanked the other Starstorm. It oh was a 50-50. Oh, my God. It was a 50-50. Roger, God. All right, that, that was that really good. Such a, that is such a big kill, too, because Roger pretty much spent the entire time just... Running around, not getting any EXP, and all of a sudden he soaks up two kills. So, great plays from from him. I mean, sure, it's kind of lucky, but still, it, it's a great play by him, right? Because it gives you that that window of opportunity. 50 I mean, that's the thing. Like, luck is only there if it's you know if you're in position to get lucky, and he was. Oh, yes. Chuvash. I don't know if he's going to be able to get this. Uh, courier snipe on the way back. It looks like it did spot him off, though. And Dendi, again, just going to sit mid. Level 6 now, so it makes it so hard for BZZ to be in this lane unless he's at full HP. As Yoku, they jump forward. Chronosphere is going to be used. Seneko only level 3. He does have an Ancient Seal if he wants to use it with Roger showing up as well. They should be able to secure this kill, I think. He has another he needs to get jump bashed. away. Uh, he's he going to take go this. Uh, they can. They have vision because of this. Yeah. No way for him to TP out. I don't think. Uh, there's the kill. Good try. Good try. I wonder uh, in the he... meantime, top. It's gonna be Sven getting ran down here. Almost going down. They need the rocket flare. General. Ro Is that not it enough? It won't. It won't. Oh, it's only it level go. one. Okay. Fair enough. It would be next level if he rocket flared the uh, neutral camp, expecting him to farm it. Oh, yeah. That'd be real good. Now, every time BZZ comes to lane, he's going to be taking attacks oh, of some amount of it. Can, Roger Can they get it? Looking for one more? Uh, no, not there. He's just warming it up. Wants to take it down in a little bit. And they see this giant old stack. Now, that is... Uh, probably going to be a high priority, but I don't think there's anybody that they have on Navi that can take it, really, right? It's They're just waiting for the Sven. I think Sven just needs, like, maybe, like, level 8, and then you can easily take it. But Roger already preparing for that. Drops a very deep ward for this ancient stack. Oh. Oh, they can come and contest it eventually, and oh, mid lane. now they jump BGC. forward. They know he wants to do it. Ooh, oh, the pump fake! <laughs> I thought he was going to be able to go for it, but he ends up saving his Sonic Wave, and if BZZ gets greedy here... Oh, Roger, he's thinking about it. He's going to go for it. Cloud, 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 he gets him. He doesn't even need the cloud. On the dotted line. Well played by Roger. He knows that he doesn't even have leap, so he doesn't have to be too cautious. He has mana as well. That's very low on everything. Now, 
Yeah, and that uh, that was so good. Um, particularly because they still have Sonic Wave, so it's not like Morana can come back to this lane safely, even. That was really well played by Dendi, though. He uh, he was pump faking because you know you kind of you kind of have to do the math really quickly and wasn't able to get the last right click in after he left, so he actually holds back from it. I think Morana had probably like 30 health more than what was necessary. Mm -hmm. So I think saving that ulti, uh, it's a pretty big deal because it actually allows him to be able to do more. Oh, Roger. Be careful. Yeah, he here, messed though. up that time. He is going to end up almost going down, but they aren't quite able to get it. So that's one kill. Meanwhile, bottom lane, a combination of Yoku and, uh, and the wonderful BZZ find the kill as well. And top lane... So three kills okay. happening, one in each lane. Ark, he used of his uh, newly purchased Mask of Madness, going to find the solo kill on General, which is somewhat surprising. Yeah. It's very difficult to solo kill a Clockwork at this event. I definitely wouldn't expect it at this level. So do you think that the Dendi is sort of saving his Sonic Wave for when he Sven eventually goes to farm that stack? Hmm, that's a good point. That might be the case. Or maybe the, I mean the other thing too is that you have a you have a void on your uh oh. Team. That's going to be a kill on the Marana. Cloud dropped and no way to leap out of that. This is a great combo too. The clockwork with the smoke screen. There's really not much you can do about it. Unless you can luckily hit the, the, the cogs twice through the smoke screen. Not what you expected? Oh. Watching Chuvash. They're f they're playing around this, like even here setting down a sentry ward, so that way they know that they're going to be able to not have vision in this area. They want to make sure that there's no wards for when eventually they come over to fight the stack. It feels like Navi is so prepared for this. Uh, it's just going to be a question of can they get there in time once he eventually goes for it. And he's going to do it now, I think. Yeah. Waiting for Mask of Madness. Uh, the shrine might be back up shortly as well. The pings come out for it. Maybe he's coming over with a couple more, but the fact that they're all in this area, it certainly signals that that's what they're looking to do. Bottom lane. Sentry dropped. Two of them dropped. Yeah, they want to do this, but they're not. there's no vision right there. We do see this rotation in. Crystallize realizes something could be going on. I think they spotted that the Ancient Apparition went invis, and so they're prepared for this. Rana and Crystallize... They're not going yet. Fissure is out, but he's just going to time walk away. And while mid lane, they're going to get the D wards. Both of those sentries don't hit, like you said. Man, Roger is just doing so much as this Ricky right now. Yeah. He's, just, he's making life so hard for Spartak. They actually, they're trying their best to kind of like slow down his movement, pull bottom lane. Gonna have a chrono. Yeah. Oh, Mystic Flare, team. easy peasy, dodge the arrow, now finding more. General is there, catches him. BZZ, they're waiting for the leaf, and as soon as he does, the follow-up hook. General on point. Meanwhile, BZZ on the ground. Oh, they find Ark as well. Dendi, oh, he no. still has the ulti. Okay. He wants to use it, but I'm going to back away. Yeah. There is a shrine available now, but of course, with this ward still here, they have vision over this area. And if he goes to try and take this stack... Uh, I don't know about this. They're walking forward. Roger is there as well. They throw out the ice path, but he ends up getting rooted. And now showing up is the rest of them. Sonic oh, Wave available. Sonic he wave. tosses this out. Doesn't kill him off yet. Vacuum oh, back. The, the back. song turn around. They got him stunned up now. Everyone's He's going to end up going creeps. down. <laughs> what the hell? All right. Neutrals kill off Sven, but Yoku killed off Dendi. And now General in trouble. And it looks like he is going to fall, but they can't oh, do the stack yet. The stack. Radiant Creeps MVP, probably doing the most damage in that engagement. Unluckily for Navi, Fan does go down to the neutrals, like you said, and they did get the kill on Dendi, so... Pretty significant victory here for, for Spartak. Well, he does not have God Strength here, Ark, so this could be a tough one for him. He's about to see that this ward is going to expire, and that is going to spell some trouble. Going to walk away from it. So he no more visions. Yeah. People will see this go down. 
And you might place a new one. Yeah. Al, it did just expire. Uh, but you that... never expect a new yeah. one to be there on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> you put the exact same one there as well. There's oh, the jump setup. forward. They've caught him. A quick and easy kill. On to the Sven. And I, I mean, if I'm Spartak, maybe it's even worth it just to leave the stack alone. You know that Navi can't take it right now, and you keep on getting baited into bad fights around it. I, I think the thing about it, too, I, I definitely agree with you there, but I think the, the biggest thing is they just don't know where all of these wards are. The reason yeah. why Navi are able to do this is just simply because of Roger's wards. So this jungle, entire jungle, is just so dangerous for Spartak to take. And the Ricky pick is definitely feeling like a master stroke at this point. And they need to get, like, they need a gem, really, but who's going to buy it? Your Earthshaker needs a Blink Dagger. Misha has nothing. He yep, has he two wards. Has nothing. <laughs> this is the saddest, saddest time. And right, again, they spot this out. Forcing it. All right. Quap oh, is coming right in. The ward. He's getting caught again. They're oh, jumping so forward. Echo Slam is there. Roger's going to end up going down. But can they get any more from this? The rest of them are walking in. You've Denny's got here. decent damage. Hookshot connects. Oh, they found him. A nice combo. They jump in with Dandy. He takes out a couple Ancients and also takes out the Sven. Sonic uh, they, away from the low ground. Job. They did their job. That's all you need. And while that's been happening, you know, Chris Lies, he's just pushing the bottom lane. Spartak, they, they have to commit their whole team just to take this, these Ancients and Na'Vi. They're, they're more than willing to sacrifice a hero here and there. Oh, they're going on mid again. Wow, Very nice man. Silence. They're going to get... BZZ is gone. And I think that Dendi here is going to live. There's no way that they have... Yeah, he doesn't have Echo Slam anymore. So, kills him off. One more. Man, and he is still being denied gold for that Blink Dagger. Navi are playing really well. Yeah, definitely. I think the scary, scary thing too is that the BZZ's effectiveness as a Mirana is like pretty non-existent right now. He just has so little compared to what Dendi has. Yeah. I wonder. Uh, I wonder how much of it is also just the fact that he didn't. He ended up not being prepared for that dagger change. You know what I mean? Oh, you have him for the leaning? Uh, that's that's actually really true. I think that change alone kind of makes it so that the Queen of Pain versus Marana is like... I don't I don't think I play enough mid to really say mm -hmm. how, how good the matchup is. But yeah. in seeing how easy Denny made it look, it looks very Queen of Pain favored. I mean, he's still almost doubling him up at CS like 16 minutes into the game. Oh, oh Chronosphere Chrono? down. They do have the Mystic Flare to follow. Going to connect, going to kill him off, possibly. It is going to be the Sven going down. So too will the Faceless Void, but Marana also died. So you lose your mid and your safe lane for just the safe lane of the Radiant team. They're a decent trade coming out for Na'Vi. They did have to use the Chrono for that, but... Dendi is going to have his ultimate again up soon. And I think this is kind of like the, the cool thing about this lineup is I, I was saying how, you know, there wasn't enough follow for the Chronosphere, but with this, like Skywrath, Clockwork setup, you know, that's already a combo in itself. You can pick someone off. You could always do it with the Chronosphere and the Skywrath ulti, or you can do Clockwork as well as Queen of Pain ulti. You know, they don't always need everything. They just need, like, a pairing, and then they mm -hmm. can find pickoffs. For sure. That's the thing. It's, it's just so much damage between all of them. Is there anything that Spartak can do to sort of exploit this, though? You've got... I mean, it's, it's so hard without Vision, obviously, and without Marana having a ton of farm. But what is going well right now for Spartak? What's, what's sort of their saving grace at this point? Their saving grace is that I think that overall their team fight should be better, but it really doesn't matter if you don't have... Oh, they instantly get dewarded, but... Yeah, and I think they have better team fight, but I don't think it really matters if you don't have the items to execute that kind of a team fight. Like your Sven doesn't have the the items he needs to fight. He's gonna have to go straight for the blink dagger just so that they, they can fight. Yeah. Dark Sierra has his four staff now, so he can actually set you up. This is I, I like this adjustment from from Spartak. Normally, you see more items come out from the Sven before he finishes up the blink echo saber, but he's gonna go straight for the blink dagger. So. He can combo up with the Darkseer Vacuum. Yeah. Pretty much what they need right now. 
And I mean, you take a look at the difference in terms of net worth, around 4,000 experience in gold. So there is this like potential for a comeback. It's not so significant of a lead as of yet, but it does feel like the items that you've got on Navi allow them to fight a lot more. Plus just the, the vision advantage. It can't be overstated how significant this is. And like right now, Dire, they're sort of playing around their wards a little bit. They're heading down to the bottom lane, going to try and pressure this in. But, like, how many sentries have been committed here? Look, there's one, two, three, all just around this area here. And they are going to be able to spot out Roger in a second if he walks through this ward. They need to take advantage of that and find this kill on him. They, they really need to kill Roger. And it looks like they're going to be able to right now. Dust? Sentry? Oh, Goodbye, Roger. Yeah. I mean, it's still another sentry used. Misha is just like... I, I want to check out how many support items he's used because it's going to be an absurd amount. Yep, that's, uh, but that's kind of how you have to play against the, the Ricky. At the same time, that's also how you play Ricky. Obviously, you don't yeah. want to be like chain feeding or anything, but you want to constantly move around the map and let your teammates know what's happening and where everyone is. Get your team information as much as possible. All right, maybe an opening here, maybe an opportunity, but the rest of Spartak, General, they jump forward. In. They've caught him, the pushback, the cogs, the damage. It's they have an pullback. echo slam. They oh, end up pinching up the Chronosphere by Crystallize, but Sven is on the outside. Ricky is actually doing a decent chunk of damage there. It keeps the rest of them away. But no Dendi's damage has really been dealt, and Dendi showing up, like you said. Misha is not going to be able to get away from this. They're going to have to surge away Ark. He's super dead if he ends up sticking around there. And meanwhile, Yoku, not going to end up going down either. So great team fight from Navi. Yeah, pretty much all of that was thanks to the... Uh, it was a great initiation by General, you know, making BZZ get pushed back into the towards the tower, just really causing so much chaos for for Spartak, and Spartak not really knowing too well how to uh, react to that. I think they kind of like panicked a little, and then all of a sudden a four-man Chronosphere. Definitely not right. how you want to start a fight. Well, and imagine how different that looks if Chuvash actually has a Blink Dagger, you know? And now Roger spots it out. They realize what's going on. There's a Blink on Shaker, and suddenly these fights become harder to deal with. General, just playing so aggressive. If Roger walks any further forward, there is still a sentry ward here. Spotting it all out, though. This is exactly what they're looking for. Oh, silence comes out onto Shaker as well. They got him caught there. They aren't going to find a kill, though, it looks like. Everybody else heading away. Roger now is scouted. He's just going to be force staffed out of there, but still going to die. And in the meantime, Seneko going to be vacuumed and killed off. So the two supports are going to go down. It looks like that's going to be about the extent of it, though. Maybe a little too ambitious after the first uh, attempt. I think if it doesn't work out, to call it off. I mean, even though it's just two supports, like, look at how much gold they get. <laughs> yeah. That was a, a 1,400 gold swing for two supports. So, Spartak going to be happy with that. And now putting themselves in a position to maybe stage a bit of a comeback. Like we said, the blink on Shaker can make a big difference vision-wise. This was not scouted, the smoke, and they're going to run into General, who is down here. Ah, they oh, guessed they the wrong way. Where you went. They should know he's over here now, though, but the Chronosphere is also going to use that as... They take down another one, Crystallize, able to get the solo onto BZZ, and now General walking away. Now vacuumed back. He doesn't have Chronosphere. They know this ancient apparition. Ulti General is actually going to be able to kill off Misha and then get away. Oh no! If Crystallize, Crystallize gets away here, down, all right, yeah, they kill him off. But they commit so much for that. Yeah, that's Echo down. Echo is a very big cooldown. 150 seconds now. No Echo, and no God Strengths as well. Somehow. Ancient Apparition ends up dying with three of his teammates right next to him. He's like, come on, guys, lend a hand. They ended up wanting to go after the Faceless Void. Makes the most sense, but feels sort of bad, man. Really does. Seneko, unfortunately, going to be dropping an Observer Ward on top of a Sentry. This one. Goku going to deny it. Yeah. Well, Navi have kind of fallen off a little bit in the past couple of minutes. It's been a decent net worth swing, about 2,500 over the past few minutes. 
Um, do you feel like Aegis needs to be on their minds? It's kind of hard for them to take down Roshan, though. Yeah, I think that's the kind of the issue for them right now. Is that they don't have a way to take Roshan. But I think they're they're still they're still in a in a good position. They just need to make sure that they don't give up kills like that. Just stick with what they've been doing so far. You know, farm out the map. Make sure that Roger is keeping up the vision game. You know, keep tabs on where the Spartak lineup is, and then uh, play accordingly. He does show himself mid there, which gives a decent amount of information to Spartak and makes them feel comfortable heading down this way. And it's like Clockwork had an idea. Oh no, he's just hitting the wave down there. Oh, oh crystallize. crystallize. That should be the death of him. Those kills cannot be allowed to happen if they want to take they're this, but in, the hook shot, able to catch onto him. Do they have vision though? Dust is already down and they're gonna be able to catch there. Blow him the hell up. Spartak just trying to get away now. Arrow is actually gonna connect on a clockwork. So he's not gonna be able to take part in this oh, chase. He's in a lot of trouble right now. Roger looking, they can't find him though. They don't have the slows. Earthshaker Chubash is just sitting down in the side of the map, ready to head out of there. And gonna TP out now. So Spartak, this <laughs> I think this is the the big thing that Spartak need to wait for is that their cores just do not have damage. You look at the Sven. Yeah. Sven will always have damage just because of you know he's him being yeah, Sven. But if you look at BZZ's Marana, he's gone the defensive route, which is definitely the right choice here. Getting that core staff first item for dealing with the uh, smoke cloud. As well as the clockwork. Yeah. Well, Find Roger again. Yeah, it was just another, like, walk into the century and then ends up dying because of it. Um, right now, Radiant are kind of lacking in vision, and they're taking this moment to go in for Roche. Do Dyer see this? They actually don't have any vision of this area, so... It's kind of a bold move, but it looks like it's going to work out for Navi. Don't say that yet. There's still a bit of time on this one. Oh, They're and there's the Ice right Blast. Alright, and with that, I think now we need to back out. Yep. Remember, we were praising Spartak for their great Roshan decision making. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're going to give it up that easy. that easy. Oh, they had an idea that Ricky was on top of him. Arrow oh, is going to connect. This is a huge kill. He needs to get the blink away. Not going to happen. Okay, all of a sudden, this looks, this looks really bad for Navi because I'm pretty sure they can see how low Roshan is. I think Spartak might make the decision to go in for this. Because this is a Darkseer Roshan fight. I think that Spartak, even though they're behind a bit, they can still take this fight. And they, I don't think that also Navi... Alright, they're going to see now that uh, Darkseer has picked up his blink dagger. So Darkseer blink, Earthshaker blink... Uh, they've got pretty much everything except for Moonlight Shadow. Four staffs to deal with Clockwork. By and large, this is a good position for Spartak to take a fight in. And they're going to Moonlight Shadow in. Do they spot out General? They see that there's some Rocket Flares coming out at the moment. And there's oh, going to be the A they Blast. Him. They're looking for the opening. Earthshaker, they pull it back in. There's going to be the catch. There's going to be the stun. It still only is that Skywrath Mage, though. And that's Wall and God Strength used. Can Navi fight this? I don't, I don't know. It's it's hard to say. It really comes down to the Chronosphere. Crystallize walking forward. They Spartak. don't wait, have vision wait, wait, of the Ricky. The vision. They don't have the vision. There's the Chronosphere drops down onto two of them, but they missed the hook shot. Oh, General, what have you done? They're still going to be able to take down this Fen, though. And that's going to also be oh, Misha in some trouble. The chase forward, trying to find that kill. Crystallize running away. They take down another one. BZZ Denny in trouble. Denny kill. on top of him, and they got another. Looking for Yoku. Can they kill him off? He's jumping the Diffusal Blade immediately there. Yoku going to fall, it looks like, as Dendi oh, potentially going to get an Ultra. It's going to be given over instead, and that is huge. Look at all these sentries drop down as well. Uh, Not having vision there hurt them so bad. The one time they don't have enough sentries, is this... This was the time. <laughs> oh, that, that really hurts them. Navi, I mean, Dendi is just... Carrying the game right now. Yeah. They couldn't do anything to him. And I mean, I think they were in a great position to, to take that Roshan fight, but just not able to see, not being able to see Roger hurt them so badly. Chuvash wasn't able to do anything because of that. And there was some 
unfortunate place coming out of uh, Spartak as well. I think Tuvash ended up getting out of the cloud, and then he got four staff by his teammate back into the cloud, and then taking a oh. bit of extra damage, just unable to cast a single ability. And if your Earthshaker it isn't there to provide you the uh, the lockdown, I mean, Spartak don't exactly have the greatest of team fight then. So, again, it, it harkens back to this is, no, at least in the other series we saw, one of the strongest parts of Spartak's gameplay was their decision making around Roche. And maybe after throwing that whole, you know, combo together as BZZ is being stalked, they don't have Chrono for 25. Uh, to the decision to go back in after they had used God Strength and it was wearing off and after they had used Ice Blast, it causes some issues. I, I think that the, the uh, decision to fight was fine, but... okay. They just didn't have the they didn't have sentries and if you don't have sentries against a ricky ricky just makes it so easy for your team to initiate or position themselves and he saw everything as it happened and crystallize hitting the the big chronosphere it wasn't like you know big in the sense that he hit a bunch of people but he got the key targets right he got the sven as well as the Earthshaker, and i think by taking those two heroes out there's not much of a team fight left uh on spartak and normally it's kind of okay because God Strength will already like be back up by, or at least it will still be going by the time you get out of the Chrono sometimes. But in that instance, it was um, already like half duration by the time the Chrono hit, and so they didn't really have the damage afterwards. That's what you're talking about. So, yeah, tough going right now, and Spartak gonna need to figure out what exactly to do going forward, and I'm not sure what the answer is. Oh, uh, General. They're looking for a pickoff here, and they are going to see Ark as well as Yoku. Yoku might be the target that they go for. Hookshot connects, oh, and what? there's the cloud. Flies. Oh, and, he doesn't even get him, Suneko. Yeah, they're going to end up being able to take down Yoku. Maybe not. So Suneko killed off Earthshaker down bottom. Oh. I didn't see that one. I was looking up top where they almost killed Darks here. He, they set up the uh, AA Blast as well as the... Earthshaker combo down bottom just to kill off Saneko, and they couldn't even get him. He, he got away with about, I don't know, 50 health. Crystallize coming in the clutch, eating the Echo Slam with Saneko, but bashing him afterwards, being uh, Saneko in the end. So, once again, Echo is down, was not able to accomplish the, the thing with it, and the, the, the build, or the lead continues to build up. Yeah. Roger has his Diffusal Blade also, so this is a not insignificant amount of damage coming out from a Ricky. And you combo that on top of a Chronosphere with some tricks of the trade, and it could be a very dead anybody. All right, walk forward. Blink. Echo. Everything. They're ready to go into Crystallize, but... I no mean, echo. it's just the Aegis. That's the that's the sad part right now is that they just they don't have echo. They used it to try to get one kill on the map and they didn't even succeed in that. So this is another tower that they're gonna have to give up. And meanwhile, jump in mid lane. They've been able to catch him and he'll die from the orchid burn if not the right clicks and battery assault from general. More pickoffs around the map, more kills, and with an Aegis in hand, all the tier twos down. What's stopping Navi from going high ground right now? They still got it for another minute. Yeah, they definitely could just go go for that right now. It's just they still have to be ca cautious, right? You're ahead by 11k, but we've all seen the the dark seer stories, right? Yeah, like, that's always a possibility, so you have to be careful. I mean, they don't have Marana for another 20 seconds here, and no buyback. Other buybacks online, you have it only on the Dark Seer, so maybe there's a chance that this ends up working out. If they can get a big combo and pull in several, they're kind of looking for that opening. The rest of Navi is visible down here at least a little bit. Dendi is spotted, but he's the only one, and they realize that the rest of them could be in the area. Jump for it. Chronosphere is already out. The PKBs are there. They catch on to three, but only end up getting the Skywrath Mage in the wall, and they're going to be able to take down Seneko, but anybody else, it looks like, are going to be able to live through this. General still living as well. They jump for it again with Crystallize, get the Diffusal Blade, but they don't have detection. Roger's gonna end up falling. Now they're coming out of that Moonlight Shadow. Dendi finds another. They're trying to kill off two of them, splitting the damage. But in the end, there's more than enough, at least for the Darkseer. Four are dead. And it's looking like the first lane of Barracks. Gonna be going the way of Navi. Yeah, Navi realizing like 
without the Sven, there was really, really isn't too much too much damage to worry about. It was a, a good attempt by, by Spartak to hit that general. You know, sad trombone as he gets hit by the arrow, but Spartak, you know, it, they, they almost made it work with the Darkseer combo that they had, but they're just so far behind that, you know, with all the levels adding up and all the items that add up, it's just not quite enough to get get the kills in. They managed to kill off Seneko as well as Roger, but that's it. Yeah. And the most Pyrrhic of victories, the Marana's going to hit an arrow on a retreating Crystallize and then just look at him. So, looks like it's going to be a Mantis style picked up next for Faceless Void after already having that Diffusal Blade. The Diffusal Blade has been such a good decision this game as well. Uh, just being able to pick off that Darkseer whenever he tries to surge away, it's so good. Yeah, definitely. And it's just an overall uh, solid damage item for yeah. agility carries. Oh, oh, oh. Oh no. Oh no. Well, it's Seneko still probably going to go down uh -oh. here. And maybe out. they're going to be able to find some more. Dendi actually picks off Chuvash in the back lines. General just going to run away from here. The Cold Feek is not going to proc. And now they chrono the Sven. Seneko actually didn't die. But the vacuum oh, wall back wall. in. Okay. Yoku making it happen. He takes down Crystallize. Slight misplays there. I think. Uh... Crystallize was playing a little aggressively there. Oh, they're trying to chase Roger down. Yeah, they're gonna find him? No. So annoying. No dust. <laughs> yeah. That was 2,500 gold swing with the kill on the Skywrath and the Faceless Void. Yeah, I mean, that's the position they're in right now. They're behind. They're still behind by 15k, so I'm not all that surprised with how much value there is and with any kill going their way. No. Oh. Roger's got the game-winning item, the Blink Dagger on Ricky. Always uh, a great yeah, he got it. He bought it in their base, by the way. <laughs> Roger, just no respect shown. I feel like he's spent more time in the Radiant and in the Dire base than the Dire have. Oh, yeah. He's pretty much never played on his side of the map. And this is how you have to play it. Oh, he's going to yeah. deny this? Yeah. He... No smoke for you No guys. smoke for you. <laughs> Watch, he's going to run towards the fountain now and then just blink up into the trees. Don't, like, he's got wards. He's Look at these wards. This is insanity. Like, at, at some point, somebody needs to think, all right, let's oh, buy a gem, right? Too. Look, you, oh, gonna are you seriously right going to kill him right outside his base. his base? Oh, it feels so, so bad. I mean, all right, Dust. They missed the arrow again, but it doesn't matter. He still ends up going down. That, it, on the steps of his fountain, he died. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it really wasn't worth it, but it kind of sends a message. It's, it's still funny to yeah. see. Oh, God. It also, in a, in a way, it also protects his observer ward, I guess. They're not going to yeah. check for uh, uh, a, an observer there. <laughs> going to think that he's messing around. On oh, that one, just right outside of range of the sentry placed. Uh, it hurts. Man, it's, it feels like everything is just going Nobby's way. And unfortunately, another thing, Roshan not going to respond for another 50 seconds. General? Double sentries placed around here. I mean, the amount of gold that was spent, do you think that they could have thought to invest in a gem, or is that too scary to do as well? I think it's really risky. You don't really have anyone who can hold it safely, except for, for maybe Darkseer, but they were in this position where they were far enough behind that it was a very... High, it was a very high chance of whoever's holding it just dying in these teams. Okay. Then you lose that investment, and then you're just like, well, okay, this is really bad for us now because not only do we not have a, the best way to deal with Ricky, oh, they're going to find him. Oh, this Echo. is a bait, though. They're baiting it out. They're ready. Crystallize, ready to jump in. And they're, so, they're afraid to walk forward. A good decision by Spartak, but also an indication of how dire straits are is they're accidentally going to hit a shrine as well. That one was scouted. Navi, no. Only two shrines to work with inside the base. There's the jump board stun. Nicely played there as well. But he ends oh, up pushing him to the side. The fissure actually pushed Dendi. And he was able to get his BKB off. There's the jump back. And meanwhile, no, oh, good click away. Well done. 
Really good play right there. Now the vacuum all turn around. Not going to quite hit on time. They echoed off the mark as well. General, they've turning their sights now onto Chuvash. Did you get the AA blast onto two of them? Roger going to be the one that gets chased down now as well. The surge up Sven, but there's the Yule Scepter lift up. And BKB on cooldown. Nowhere left to go. The hook Big shot catches him. There's the Sonic Wave as well. Spartak falling. Crystallized dying, but GG's called. As Spartak have had enough. All right, the Ricky pick working out. I knew they could do it.